Try to rob a tattoo shop. Two robbery suspects learned that lesson Monday night. Deputies say it started when Israel Patty and Nicholas Hutchinson walked into Chaos Tattoo. Deputies say the suspects kept exchanging pipes like this one. Then on the last one, the suspect came over the counter and dove into the register. As soon as the register opened up, the guy went for the, the 20s and snatched it. And Scott began to, to wrestle with him and fight with him. Punched him a good four or five times right in the face. And it didn't even phase the guy. The manager says the suspects took a whole bunch of cash, but left behind only this. This is all of the $588 we recovered. <laughs> I don't. I guess it's only worth about $4.18 at this point. The suspects took off. Rachel Johnson says one of the suspects is her brother, and that she and her one-year-old were in the getaway car. She didn't want to be on camera, but told me she had no idea what was going on until she saw deputies speeding behind them. He ended up hightailing it. I was kind of like in a daze. I didn't know what was going on. My brother just said, get out of here, get out of here. I didn't know what he was going. I, didn't, I honestly didn't know what was going on. Johnson says deputies quickly spotted the car on I-10. The chase continued along Highway 29 before ending at Pine Forest and Nine Mile Roads. It took deputies a while to find one of the suspects because it appears he climbed up under this fence, crawled through a sewage hole, and ended up in a gutter. Deputies said either come out or we're sending the dog in. He took the safer option. The other suspect was found running through a parking lot. Folks at the tattoo shop have a message for the suspects. Find a different place to rob or get a job. In Pensacola, Christina Leavenworth, Fox 10 News.